Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the InnoVista bar race chart as a Tableau extension. This component was generated automatically in the InnoVista animator and exported so that it can be deployed in Tableau. The extension allows a designer to present a bar chart which updates with animation as it progresses through the data, typically time periods. A user can pause or browse through each individual time period. Here are two examples with data sources containing thousands of rows of data. The first is the evolution of brand values and the second Olympic medal history by country. Let's look at the data that we will use. In this case, values are based on Excel columns, but could just as easily come from any supported source. There are values for the period, the bar item and value. In this example, country, brand value and year. Let's go into Tableau Online and create a new workbook. And as we are using an Excel spreadsheet, we will choose to upload that. Now we can create a worksheet containing this data. As we do not want to summarize the values, we want each data row convert the measures to dimensions. To create a data source for the extension, drag each item to the details box. This will create a strange looking data sheet but don't worry as it will not be visible in the dashboard we are going to create. Next, create a dashboard and drag the data sheet onto it. Select the layout tab, then the floating option, and set the width and height to one pixel. This should make it invisible. Return to the dashboard tab and drag an extension onto the canvas. When prompted, navigate to the bar race tracks file that you have downloaded. This should load the extension and present the introduction screen. To edit, select the More Options button at the top of the extension and the Select Configure. This will allow us to map data and set properties for the animation. First, select the data sheet. In this case, there is only sheet 1. This will populate the available data items and the values to map to in the extension. Drag the relevant item to its equivalent field. We also have the option to set or leave the data as its default value. Then scroll to the bottom and select Save. As you can see, we have a functional chart that progresses through the data points. Now, Select Configure again and use some of the properties available to change the look and feel of the chart. In the bottom section of the pop-up, we have quite a number of options we can use to help us set up the extension the way we want. The tick duration sets the time in milliseconds for a bar to update for a period. 1000 milliseconds means 1 second. The delay duration is the time gap between two different periods. The top end option sets the number of items shown sorted by the largest value. Let's set the label, font size and color for the x-axis. There are also options for sorting, the period indicator, the value tags, number formats and chart margins. Save the updates and return to the chart. Thank you for watching. If you would like to find out how to create your own Tableau extension, please check the links below or search for InnoVista Animator in YouTube.